What's up, everybody? It's Topher Welsh here for VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. I got a sweet-looking tutorial for you guys today. Well, probably not like you know sweet, but more of a very, very helpful, and will make your footage look pretty awesome. Uh, if you guys have ever tried rendering out with the H.264 QuickTime codec, you're gonna notice that your videos are going to look a little bit washed out. It's because there's kind of a uh, bug type of thing with uh, QuickTime, and it just kind of washes out your video, which, you know, sucks, but what can you do? With this fix, you have to have QuickTime Pro, but if you have Final Cut Studio, you automatically have QuickTime Pro, but for you Windows users, I think it costs like 30 bucks, and I think you get it from... Uh, Apple.com slash QuickTime. So go check that out. But we're going to get into the tutorial right now, and let's jump in. So I got this nice-looking piece of stock footage that I took at the zoo while I was there with my family. My little kid loves the macaws. And uh, it's really, really nice and vibrant red. It's got some really nice whites in here. And we're going to kind of pay attention to this last frame right here because you can see the hair is really nice and everything. So, I did shoot this in HDV, but uh, what I did is I actually scaled it down to 720 by 480 so I could use the QuickTime output module, and you should probably see my tutorial on exporting HD H.264 if you want to do this. This technique still applies to HD H.264 as well, but for saving time, I'm just using the 720 by 480 So, let's go in here. I already have this here. You can go to Composition make movie to bring your stuff into the render queue. Always remember, never use file export, okay? Never use this. I hate it. It's horrible. It's the devil. But yeah, always use control M or composition make movie to send everything to the render queue because it gives you a lot more control when you want to render out your video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the output module and we're going to choose the format, which is H.264. You can go into your format options if you want to kind of mess around with that, but we, we don't really we don't really need to do that right now. So just hit cancel and hit OK. Okay, so I've already actually rendered this one out, but it's going to render it out to a .mp4 format. So let's fake like I hit click render. Okay, we got our video right here, and as you can see, this last frame is kind of you know kind of more blah than our source footage, which, you know, that's the sucky part about it. So all you people that don't have QuickTime Pro, this is why you're going to want it, especially if you're messing with stock footage or if you're outputting to QuickTime uh, H.264 a lot, especially for clients. So our way to fix this is we are going to go into File. Oh, whoops, my bad. We're going to go to Window show movie properties okay so this is going to come up and it's going to say you have this and if you have audio it'll have an audio track but you're going to want to click the video track and then go into the visual settings tab and this thing right here the transparency pull down menu you're going to go to blend and what you're going to do is you're going to pull this all the way up to 100 percent and right now it just looks like you know whatever you don't really know what's going on, but then what you're going to do is going to go back to transparency, go back down, and then go to straight alpha. And then hit close on that, and then file save. It's going to ask you to save this as, you know, so you want to save it as a self-contained movie, and then macaw, well, I'm going to use macaw.mov. So save. And now you can see that we have our nice looking footage. I mean, it's not as good as our source footage, but that's because this is H.264 compression. But if you want, you can look at our, at our first one. We're going to go into... Okay, this is what we had before. And you can really see the difference now. That's what we had before. Oh, wait, that's and that's what we have now. See, so, I mean, look at the difference in the color. I mean, this was just pop. Look at that pop. Looks so good. So, I highly 
suggest that you use these uh, this technique when you are outputting your movies because, I mean, color is everything, especially when you're sending proofs to a client or if you're trying to sell stock footage, especially here on Video Hive. Um, you always want the most vibrance in your colors as possible. So remember, you know, it only takes a couple. You know, I think it takes like under a minute to do. I mean, this tutorial only took probably like five minutes. So make sure that you guys check that out. And again, always remember, I am Topher Welsh from VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. You can catch me on Twitter at, well, at, at Topher, T-O-E underscore F-U-R. Also, you can find my website at VisualFXTuts.com, 